to ensure life, liberty, and dignity to the residents of its periphery. The list of human rights violations is long. The dreadful assassination of Arab Shai, chairman of Al Qaeda International Alliance on 13th of May 2013, has raised anguish nationwide and internationally where Kashmiri diaspora is residing. Kashmiri progressive and nationalist parties have demonstrated in front of Pakistani high commissions and embassies throughout the world, have submitted memorandums, but no probe is initiated or no FIR. First information report was logged that shows non-seriousness of Pakistani authorities. I and my Belgian colleagues have briefed Chairman of Foreign Affairs and Human Rights Committees in the European Parliament and several other MEPs from Foreign Affairs and other committees. In the civilized society, if any such public figure is cold-bloodedly murdered, police and human rights white dog come forward to investigate and arrest perpetrators. But nothing happened in the case of a prominent Kashmiri leader who is killed on Pakistani soil. Such attitude shows us that Pakistani security agencies are involved in his assassination, and we shall continue our unflinching efforts to demand a judicial probe and arrest of possible killers of Mr. Arif Shah. Mr. Chairman, I would also like to share that since many decades, the local party elections are not held in Pakistani understood Kashmir, namely named as Azad Kashmir. It is because years before, nationalists have swiped many local seats and have occupied district chairmanship, which resulted in the adoption of independent Kashmir resolutions in the region. From this auspicious platform and in the presence of all of you, I would demand that the government of Pakistan should immediately announce to hold local body election in its held portion of Kashmir, so that common people could socially, politically empower. Ban on students' union must be uplifted and Kashmir studies should be taught at every level in Pakistani administrative Kashmir. The affected people of Mangladam uprising project must be rehabilitated. Public service commission should be established on impartial and professional individuals free from any internal and external <coughs> pressure. The government of Pakistan should also fulfill its international obligations and demolish terrorist infrastructure in its peripheries and put effective ban on all such organizations and individuals who are posing threat to regional and international peace and acting as a proxy of Pakistan's security establishment. The acceptance of terrorist organizations' involvement in recent skirmishes on LSC have once again proved that in the presence of a successive civilian government in Islamabad, the security establishment is planning another operation to fight in our state. In this regard, it is highly important for the world community and especially for the human rights defenders to come forward and, pr and pressurize Islamabad to revisit its policies on Kashmir. Kashmiri people have suffered and their socio-economic, cultural and political development have seriously jeopardized and extinguished due to such policies. It is noteworthy to inform you that my party, United Kashmir People's Mission Party, is genuinely a pro-peace, pro-people and pro-democratic organization which is peacefully and non-violently <coughs> striving to achieve the noble ideals of freedom, democracy and equality. It is as it is, it is, it was the slogan of French Revolution, liberty, fraternity, equality. I thank you, Mr. Chair.